grow still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. One hundred years later, Negro lives on the lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. One hundred years later, Negro is still languished in the corners of American society, finds himself in exile in his own land. So we've come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. In a sense, we have come here to tell America of the fierce urgency of now. This is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. It would be fatal for the nation to overlook the urgency of the moment. This sweltering some of the Negroes' legitimate discontent will not pass until there is an invigorating optimum of freedom and equality. 1965 was not an end, but a beginning. Those who hope that the Negro needed the law scheme and would now be content would have a good awakening if the nation returns to business. There will be neither rest nor tranquility in America until the Negro is granted his citizenship rights. The world winds of revolt will continue to shape the foundations of our nation until the bright day of justice emerges. There's something that I must say to my people who stand on the warm threshold which leads into the palace of justice. In the process of gaining our rightful place, we must not be guilty of wrongdoing. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hate. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high planes of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protest to degenerate into physical violence. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul Everybody say Amen Everybody say You are tuned in to Record Breakers on Independent Heights Right here on Central United Radio A community station <laughs> Be a 